Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive. We've got a long one. Today we are now on to the anti-material rifle category. We are here in home SMG rifle anti-material. We are looking at the AR-50A. It is a big one. It is chambered in 50 BMG, so that's why it's so big. And look at that. We got some rails on this guy. It is bolt action. Some of these in this category are going to be semi, some are going to be a bolt. It's going to be a big wide mix of stuff, stuff that isn't even a rifle is in here. So it's it's a kind of a miscellaneous category. But anyway, we are looking at the AR-50A here. So let's get to it. Let's check it out. Let's take a look at the controls on our AR-50. Well, it's a bolt action left on the trackpad. will flip our safety between safe and fire and uh, that's it it's got no magazine or rather no magazine uh, well so there's no magazine to drop out uh, what do we got here here's our bolt handle and there we go chambered in 50 BMG you gotta put them in one at a time whoops there we go Whee! now Interesting thing about this anti-material rifle is you cannot uh, quick bolt it. You can slide bolt it, however. So slide bolting works just fine. Uh, all of, although in this case, you still got to manually load it. So you're a little bit limited on your super fast slide bolting. Let's look at attachments and I see some rails. Yes, nice top rail and put whatever you like up there and a little bottom rail way out front put a laser or foregrip or something out there let's see if we can put that yeah and can we use the slide bolt yes we can use the slide bolt with the foregrip attached on there fantastic because you got to be holding the front in order for slide bolting to work click and there it goes anyway moving on let's look let's see oh my gosh way out there muzzle brake muzzle brake will go and it even comes with this custom cool looking muzzle brake out there oh look at that that thing's ridiculous it's massive how about a suppressor whoop whoop yeah suppressor will go barrel extension let's assume the barrel extension goes <laughs> rail adapter will go and the uh, battle spatula will go out there already got a stock we can put lasers on the bottom if we wish good stuff how about the stock? Does the stock adjust? Oh, no cheek riser adjustment, no butt pad adjustment. No, it's a fixed stock, although it looks cool. How about a bipod? No bipod. All right, pretty simple bolt action. Let's check out our sights. Um, well, we don't have any, but we do have an unusual looking uh, rail on there. So let's see if we can make that work. I think this foregrip is honestly too far forward for me. Yeah, that, that's much better. You can actually grab way up here rather than way out there. So I'd put just lasers out there. I wouldn't necessarily put a foregrip on that thing unless you want to really put a rail and pull it back. Let's see if we can... No, oh, it's still pretty pretty high and awkward out there just by using the rail with, as, a, as a makeshift iron sight. Ah, not nah, yeah, that one's pretty good. <laughs> Make it look easy. Let's do one more and see if I can be consistent. Okay, well, there you have it. You can kind of use that front sight. Let's see what it looks like with a red dot, though. I imagine it's going to look just fine. You're probably going to want magnified optics, optics considering it's an any material rifle, though. Yep, red dot works great on this thing. No problem. In the past, I've done bolt action pistols with a mechanical accuracy test because bolt action pistols probably didn't have very good mechanical accuracy. However, bolt action rifles like this anti-materiel rifle are gonna have really good mechanical accuracy. So I'm less concerned about that, but I am much more interested in this as a sniping system, as a precision system. Can I hit that target out there at 400 meters with any reliability. So here's the test. With all the weapons that I'm gonna test on this, we're gonna do a test with whatever they have as far as iron sights go, and then whenever whatever they can allow as uh, magnified optics go. And the question is, can you put 
five out of ten rounds there in that black circle way out there that you can barely see without magnification yeah this is I think 15 yeah 15 X magnification out there so can I hit 50% of my shots in that black circle now in reality uh, I will actually allow as long as it scores a five or better that black circle is actually a seven, I believe. So I'm actually going to be a little bit more lenient than that black circle, which I cannot even see in VR at this resolution. To give you an idea, I have to get the magnification in order to see the black. What I can see is a yellow blur out there. And that's what I'm aiming for. When I use the regular sight, uh, the regular target, the one I've been using this whole time at 10 meters, I can't see it. So I either have to use this yellow one or black one or something out there so I can get a little color contrast and then I can pick it up. So let's see if the AR-50A can snipe. Let's start. Without magnification, we're going to use this iron sight. And I think you know what the answer is going to be. Here we go. I have no idea where I am shooting because there are no iron sights. So... All right, we're going to make this short because the answer is zero because I can't see where I'm shooting. But then again, this is not supposed to be shot this way. That's why it's got this big old rail up top. So let's just move right on to the optic and let's see how good we can be. Oh, there we go. All right, here we go. Got a seven. Seven on the first shot. Nine, we're looking good. Another nine, three for three. Oh, I rushed that one, but I still got an eight. Ah, a little high, but I knew I could hit it. Five out of five. Let's just end it right there. This thing has got full sniping potential. There you have it, the AR-50A and 50 BMG, a big boomer. Until next time. I will see ya. See if I can hit that watermelon right up front. Oh, a little high. Let's try it one more time. Got to get some booming on this. Oh, a little low. Come on. <laughs> and a ricochet. Fantastic. Mm. Oh, no. Lost my optic.